New tonight for Get Merlot and Chardonnay. The hot terms to know in the wine industry today are on tap, screw on caps, and enematic <laughs> systems, to name a few. And some interesting wine trends that go beyond the traditional sniff and sip we are used to seeing. CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo gives you a taste. Lisette Lianza appreciates a glass of good wine. The wine was a big part of our culture. It was always on the table. It was a part of every family gathering. Lisette is part of a growing group of American consumers who downed 302 million cases of wine in 2014. Food and wine editor Ray Isle says several trends are driving this increase in consumption, including making tastings less pretentious. People are trying to pair wine with music, and it's it can be as simple as, as you know having music at your tasting room and kind of giving a vibe that way. This winery offers a backstage pass to a private lounge for special tastings with classic rock, and this winery actually features live musicians like Lyle Lovett and Melissa Etheridge as part of its Legendary Wines, Legendary Artists concert series. Even the cork is evolving. When it comes to keeping a wine fresh and having essentially no fault rate with the wine, screw caps are the way to go. Another huge trend in restaurants and bars and fun spots like here at Fork and Balls in Fort Lauderdale is wine on tap. It's technology that allows you to dispense wine the same way as you would draft beer. But here at the Forge on Miami Beach, there's even more of an upgrade. They're called Enomatic, where you actually use a credit card system and get a glass of wine depending on the ounces you want. You can try and, and be your own sommelier and enjoy it. Gino Santangelo has been the chief sommelier at the Forge for more than 40 years. Its wine cellar houses more than 22,000 bottles of wine, including this Lafitte Rothschild priced at $165,000. You won't see that bottle out here, but you will see wines in all price ranges that you can have with a simple swipe of the Forge wine card. It's like a debit card, uh -huh. this right here, mm -hmm. and uh, what it does, uh, we, we load it with the amount of money, uh -huh. and then you pour yourself. Your own wine. You have uh, three choices. You have one, three, and five ounces. Okay. The machine works on argon gas and regulates the proper temperatures for each bottle. You can go for the super expensive wines like this bottle priced at $250 and just have a one ounce taste. $250 bottle of wine that I just got for a little over 20 or go for a bigger glass of a more moderately priced wine. For example, this Joel Gott, I can go for five ounces and we're under 10 bucks. That's correct. That's very nice too. Yeah, a little fruitier, right? Fruit. Yeah, great. very nice. Mm -hmm. On the other spectrum, Food and Wine Isle says he's even seen wine in a can. You would think, you know, wine, cans, doesn't go together. This is actually pretty terrific stuff. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> It's still good. Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News, tonight.